Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And this one's talking kind of about Genesis, uh, past, present, and future. I'm going to be kind of reflecting a little bit, talking about the plans for CWL and the, the future of kind of the competitive war scene for Genesis. And uh, probably more importantly, talking about recruitment, because I know a lot of people recently have been asking me, we have had a change in our recruitment system. So I will address that in this video as well for you guys who are interested in, in applying to join. And I can refer people to this video possibly in the future if they have questions and stuff. So um, let's just get right into it. But first, actually, I want to tell you guys the attacks from this video, all from the cold September war. Great job to Genesis. We actually didn't get the win. We lost by one star. But um, it was still a very close war. Cold September, obviously a very uh, competitive clan. And it was one of those wars that I think was kind of situated during the week to a certain extent. Um, yeah, I think it took place mostly on Monday. So not, not always easy to get all the attacks in and stuff and to plan sufficiently. So I think we did a really good job, you know, with what uh, we had to work with. And we got it within a star, which was a very, very close war. So uh, good job to both clans at that. But let's go ahead and talk kind of a little bit about Genesis. And I've been thinking recently, just it's crazy, but I've been in Genesis for about a year and maybe three months, I think. I originally actually applied applied for one hive. I don't want to go too into the story. You guys actually can check that out in my interview with Brutal Raids. I talked more about it. But I've just been thinking it's been um, so long that I've been in Genesis and I've seen different leaders come and go, different members come and go, and I really feel like one of the older members at this point, just kind of like looking around, seeing who else has been here this long, and uh, you know, it's it's been an awesome time. I don't think there's many clans that could have had this much, much flexibility with me, you know, being not able to participate in wars a lot during the week uh, for certain parts of the year, um, having the YouTube channel I have to deal with, all this different stuff, it's been awesome, the flexibility, and I think Genesis has had some hard times, you know, the last six months maybe. And it comes with the One Hive name is kind of what I've concluded. You know, we get the publicity maybe, or maybe we used to more so, um, just being a One Hive clan. And with that came an expectation of the utmost fair play. And when something comes out that you know, is doesn't look good when there's people that are cheating in the clan. And we've had that happen twice. Um, not huge scandals, just like one person, I think. I don't want to get too much into the details. But um, it definitely looks bad. And it affects us probably a lot worse than it would um, a clan that doesn't have the one of those names associated with it because there's other clans that are um, at you know very similar levels to us in terms of being competitive and being fair play. But the One Hive name, they were kind of the... Uh, the forefront in fair play for a while, and they still are um, the main One Hive clan. Uh, I think they've done a great job maintaining their clan over the years. Um, there is that that association with the name, so I think that has been a factor for better or for worse for us. And um, we still are a One Hive clan, even if we're not associated with the actual original One Hive clan. Um, and it, I think it still continues to get us new recruits, but it also um, has a different level of expectation. So I've just been thinking about that, and I don't know, just some, something for to reflect on, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed my time, and I think it's one of the best clans I've been in. Not that I've been in a ton of clans, but I have been in a few before it, and I think uh, the leadership very flexible, um, but also a lot of people that really want to uh, be competitive and have a good time. So... Yeah, let's go into the um, new recruitment details now because Genesis has changed it up a little bit. We used to have a website, but I think um, what clans are finding is that the websites tend to be hard to keep up for sure. Um, I mean, these are people that have jobs and stuff, and it's a lot to keep up your own website with all these different features. So for like base calling, we've been using other techniques to call bases other than like the website, which originally was used for base calling as well. Same thing for recruitment. We now use a Discord server and a line ID, both of which are in our clan description. So 
If you want to apply for Genesis, all you have to do is go to our clan description, either use the line or the discord um, server it gives you in there, and you can uh, connect with some of our leaders and possibly get a tryout. So that's how we're doing it from now on, or at least for the near future. And I think it's a little bit easier that way, and people are able to uh, respond quicker. It's a little bit more interactive, so I think um, most people will be happy to see that we've changed that. Uh, the, the requirements, though, I should talk about a little bit. Town Hall 9, 20 plus heroes. Um, of course, for any Town Hall level, we're expecting proficiency in three star attacks and uh, someone who has, you know, some experience. Doesn't have to be a super skilled player, but has some experience in high level wars, competitive three star war attacks, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, nothing too big, but uh, has a basic background, some proficiency. So, 20 plus heroes, that's combined. So you can have 10, 10 heroes and apply. Uh, Town Hall 10, it's a little bit, it's actually quite a bit higher, uh, 70 plus heroes. So we're looking for 35, 35 and above or 40, 30. Um, there probably is a little bit of flexibility. I wouldn't say don't apply if you're a few aggregate levels below this, but those are the basic um, requirements. If you're a little bit below, you might have to have a, a good argument as to why you should uh should be allowed to have a tryout or something like that. But yeah, 20 plus Town Hall 9, 70 plus Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, 80 plus. So basically it's max for the Town Hall level before it. I guess 35, 35 isn't, isn't, is above Town Hall 9. Uh, but for Town Hall 11, it's having those 40, 40 heroes at least. And then of course we like people to upgrade to 45, 45 as quickly as possible. But obviously that takes time. So those are the requirements for each Town Hall level. It's basically just hero levels. Um, I'd say if you have lower level heroes like 10-10 for Town Hall 9, the expectation is you don't have all your defenses maxed because that kind of uh, pulls in a, a weight that you can't really reciprocate with your attack power. So it should be kind of matching. If you're a new Town Hall 10, you might have lower heroes, but you also have lower defenses. Uh, for the most part, it should match. But those are kind of the skeleton, the basic requirements uh, that we're able to put out there in a concrete way. As far as Genesis, the future, I think we're, we're definitely getting back into the war scene, evident by some of these last wars. We've been picking up the slack a little bit because uh, we had a little bit of a, uh, a halt after the um, a lot of players left for different stuff and all the stuff with the cheating and all that stuff. We had quite a few players leave, but we've definitely rebuilt. We still have two clans in the family, both fairly full with players, and we're looking to get back into some of the competitive warfare. Now we are already participating in the CWL Lite, which is just coming to a close. Uh, we didn't do that well, to be honest, but it was kind of a chance to rebuild, if nothing else. And towards the end, we really started to pick up the slack. Like I said, had a good win last week and looking to continue to build on that this last uh, week of the CWL Lite. I believe the last week is coming up this weekend. But um, for the future, uh, because CWL is ending in a few weeks, I think the end of February, there is going to be um, another round of leagues. I think from what I've heard, there's going to be CWL Invite, Prime, and Light. So three different types of CWL. I believe the, uh, the latter ones are for lower level uh, clans in terms of not skill-wise, but maybe for uh, war weights, not as many Town Hall 11s and just not the priority clans. I assume the top clans typically want to be in the uh, the heaviest war weight from what I've seen that you guys are seeing in the regular CWL right now. Uh, Genesis, we're looking at all our options. We'll probably be in like prime or something somewhere in the middle. We don't quite have the war weights um, in just the depth because we, you know, real life stuff happens and you have to be able to put up a roster every week. So sometimes we might not have, I don't know, six town halls, 11, seven town hall 11s, however many that you typically roll with uh, to match. So we're probably going to stay in prime or light. That's not to say we're not going to be competitive because those are going to be some very competitive leagues. There's so many clans right now that are uh, involved in this kind of competitive war stuff. It's not just the top 10 clans or whatever. It's, it's a lot of clans and we're seeing more and more join it every day. So Genesis, I'm looking forward to... Uh, to finishing off this CWR light and getting into the next one. I really encourage you guys, if you're in between clans, check out Genesis. Um, we will 
be, I think, pretty much happy to give anyone a chance who has the, the basic requirements met. So we definitely look forward to seeing any new recruits come. I will update the stuff in my in the clan disc or the video descriptions, my auto um, links and stuff to uh, reflect the new recruitment process. I'll get rid of the website link and stuff to make that a little bit easier. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the past, present, and future of Genesis. And um, thank you guys for watching. If you've watched all, what is this, 10 minutes up to this point, hope you like the attacks in the background. Once again, good job to Genesis and Cold September. Was a great war, and you guys will see some content over the next few days. Looking to do some base builds, live action, and uh, cover the uh, the CWL wars, any moral thieves, and Genesis coming up. So all that good stuff to look forward to, and I'll see you guys then. Bisectatron out.